Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today we're gonna be working on getting Ubuntu Server installed on VMware. So um, we're gonna use Workstation for this. It's gonna be Workstation version 7.1, and we're gonna be installing uh, Ubuntu Server 9.10. Uh, the installation process is gonna be the same for all major distributions. So I just want you to see the overall uh, installation process. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the wizard to create a new virtual machine for the machine type. We're just gonna select a custom machine type. Um, for the hardware compatibility, I'm just gonna select 6.5 and 7 to have the most compatibility. About the operating system, I'm gonna install it later. Okay. Now about the guest operating system, I'm gonna select just uh, other 2.6 64-bit kernel. Okay. For the virtual machine name, well, I have a quite a few Ubuntu servers installed here. So I'm just going to put a number to make sure I'm not overlapping with any of those. But you can give it as many processors as you want for the virtual machine. doesn't need to be very fast, but uh, I'm just going to give it two so we can see multi-processing later on. Okay, I'm going to give it um, two gigs of memory. Okay, And I'm going to connect it to the... Um, network card directly so I'm gonna use bridge networking okay for the this we're gonna be using SCSI style disks um, for the disk size we're gonna select uh, something like 20 gigs no let's just make it 10 so it's not gonna take that much time for money oh, oh my dock is 10 turned out okay here I'm just gonna go to disk to change it and select the ISO Okay, and the virtual machine is going to install right away. Okay. So you get your first screen about the language for the installation. Okay. Uh, you have quite a few options here. Uh, these are very good for recovery of the system to boot from a fair hard disk or rescue a broken system. Uh, check for defects and test memory, something you may want to do the first time you're installing to make sure you have good memory on the server and uh, the disk that you download is not corrupted or something. Uh, but after that, you just want to stick to the ins install Ubuntu server section. Okay. Now it's going to actually ask you the language for the installation of the server, not just the wizard. So we want to select English and uh, our country. In this case, you're going to select US. And you can go through this wizard to detect your layout to make sure that um, your keyboard is not going to give you a hard time later on when you're putting password or anything. Okay, so when you have that, it automatically detects your keyboard. In this case, detecting a Latin American keyboard. Okay, and I'm gonna start scanning the C room, loading some other components, pulling an IP address via DHCP, so you can use APT later on. Uh, I will eventually come to the screen where it's gonna ask us for the host name of the server. So let's just give it some more time. Okay. I'm gonna just name it server or whatever. Okay. Then we're gonna go to the screen where it's gonna actually ask for the time zone. So we're gonna select the whatever time zone we're in. This guy is gonna be central. And we come to the partitioning. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna stick to the guided partitioning. Uh, later on, we're gonna delve into partition into this manually creating the the root partition the swap partition uh, the SDA and all that good stuff in this case as you can see it's gonna create a, a root partition a swap and an SDA disk with the recommended size and everything so I'm just gonna click on yes for this okay it's gonna start partitioning and installing the base system once it's done it's gonna ask us for the accounts that it needs to create so uh, we're gonna give it the username the real name for the user and the password uh, that's gonna happen in, in any minute now
almost done okay so now we're gonna put in the name for the user okay okay I'm just gonna create this account now make sure you select the uh, safe passwords with uh, letters, caps, uh, everything Ubuntu will allow you to set up pretty much any password but just make sure you have a secure one okay I'm gonna cancel all the APTs so we can move quicker okay now you have this question whether li you like to do automatic updates or not at least I don't like automatic updates because something can just upgrade and breaks without me knowing but if you just want to install security updates automatically then you can feel free to select that option okay now it's gonna go through the software selection screen uh, here you can select some pretty fine software that comes with the ISO image uh, most common you're gonna be installing the OpenSSH perhaps a DNS or a Postgre but uh, for now I'm just gonna install an OpenSSH so I can go back into the server later Uh, now the installation probably kicks in it's gonna take a few minutes uh, so I'm just gonna let the installation process to go through um, in the end it's gonna install the grub and uh, will eventually reboot which should be just a few minutes away from the installation as you can see the overall process is very straightforward something that you can easily set up on your VMware to install installing Apache, Tomcat, Bind, high availability, clustering, MySQL and some other um, products um, we're gonna be doing later labs for open saves and asterisks and some other stuff so you need to select a base OS that you're gonna stick with for the rest of the labs I would recommend using Ubuntu server because there's a lot of resources out there and a lot of support you can use from the community so uh, as you can see the installation process is completed now uh, the server is actually rebooting uh, in just a few minutes we're gonna have it going into the uh, to the main screen and um, I have a few more minutes so I can set up the networking and make sure it's, it's working good okay so it booted up loaded up up armor and everything the SSHD so let me just log in and do a quick checks here okay uh, let's see what kernel we installed okay it's a 2.631 kernel okay now let's see what IP address we're having here is 1.13 it's just got by yeah, DHP so um, let me put in my pseudo cape okay and um, going into my network folder I'm gonna use BI to edit my interfaces okay once I'm here you can see the DHB option here you wanna change that to static so I'm gonna click on I on my keyboard to go into um, insert mode and start configuring address oh I have a typo in here okay um nope what am I doing nope um I'm sorry about the confusion okay uh, I'm just gonna give it 90 okay now I have to select my net mask and my gateway If you want, you can put in your network as well and your broadcast. Okay, I'm gonna do escape to get out of the insert mode, column to go into the command section, and then right quick to go out. Okay, now I should be able to reset the networking service. Okay, so let's reconfigure interfaces. If I do an fconfig again, I get I have an IP address 90. Let's see if I can get to my default gateway. Sure thing. Okay, now let me see if I can get over to something more advanced like a well known DNS out there that belongs to Google. Yep, let's see if I, my DNS works so I can get to Google. Okay. Um, now let's see if I can SSH into my own server because that's very important to make sure your SSH works. Okay. Uh, of course, the certificate is going to be rejected. It's a self-signed, so I'm just going to accept it and log in. 
okay no I need to log in as my user because the use user root does not exist here oh I cannot get my my ad symbol what's up with that hmm you're gonna hate me for this I'm just gonna <laughs> not gonna use my ad symbol okay so it's Robert this time okay and I'm in so that's good okay so um we have our Ubuntu server installed by now you can check on the processes um, the only thing that is interesting here that is running is the SHD service besides that there's nothing else so we're gonna be going to the same server to do further checking and tune up on later videos so just um, stick up and we're gonna be going through more advanced stuff you have your Ubuntu server working hopefully not by now